Well, there, there are all sorts of options here. Um, I, part, part of my, well, in my military career, I was I was what was called an ammunition technical officer, uh, and I um, my sort of expertise, if you like, was in guided weapons, but also in explosives and and bombs and all that sort of stuff, bomb disposal work and so on. So, it, you know, one end of the spectrum, this could have been, could, I don't know is the answer, but could have been uh, Russians themselves moving explosives, ammunition, weapons across this bridge to reinforce, put, uh, you know, put uh, extra resources into the battle around Kershaw and so forth. And there may have been some sort of explosion as a result of that. That's not unknown. Um, but part of the business of being an ATO is to ensure that ammunition is moved safely and so on. So it's possible that this was an explosion of Russian military equipment being moved by the Russians. It, whatever it was, it was a big bang because you do not bring down a modern bridge like that uh, easily. The other end of the spectrum, it could have been a Ukrainian uh, a lorry that went went across the bridge, but I doubt that, to be honest. And I also doubt, actually, that the Ukrainians did it. I mean, personally, I, I think they would have made more of this if they if they managed to hit this with some sort of uh, you know weapon attack or so on. So the honest truth is, like most of us, I don't know what the answer is, but my instinct is it could well have been uh, caused by the Russians moving explosives or ammunition across the bridge to reinforce 